Hello, and welcome to the tutorial for how to outfit your WaveSport kayak, hosted by Wilderness Voyagers in Ohio Pile, Pennsylvania. For this tutorial, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, preferably the one that WaveSport supplies with all new kayaks. Remember that with any kayak, the key fit points are the back band and seat, the hip pads, the thigh braces, and the foot bulkhead. They all work together, so adjusting one may throw off another. Be prepared to adjust certain parts of your kayak two or three times. Snug hip pads are very important, but often overlooked. WaveSport gives you a set of shims so that you can make sure that your hip pads are snug. To adjust your hip pads, first loosen the webbing straps at the back of the pad and pull the pad away from the boat. Zip open the hip pad and add or remove shims as desired. When you're done, zip it shut and retighten the webbing straps. Get in your boat to test the fit. I like the hip pads to fit so that my body has no side to side play within the boat. To adjust the thigh braces, remove the screw on the inside of the boat. Then loosen, but do not remove, the screw on the outside of the boat. Adjust the thigh brace so that it fits snugly around your upper leg, behind, but not on your knee. Wavesport thigh braces have an adjustable width. Line up the threading with the desired hole. The position that feels most comfortable is correct. WaveSport thigh braces are unique in that they wrap all the way around your leg. You can shim out this part of the thigh brace by removing the covering and adding the half moon shims provided. Then simply replace the covering. If you still feel like your legs are not contacting the thigh braces properly, you can add wedge shims underneath the seat. Remove the seat covering by pulling on the Velcro tab underneath. Add the shim and replace. If you like how the wedges feel, you can make them permanent by peeling off the backing and adhering them to the seat. This step is the most often overlooked part of proper kayak outfitting. To adjust the bulkhead, first loosen the wing nuts and pull the rails off the bolts. Loosen, but do not remove the screws on the bulkhead itself. Place the bulkhead where it gives you the most support, but is still comfortable. If you need to move it very close to you, you will have to push the rails outward. Once you have it where you like it, move it away from you by one hole. Slide the plates on the bulkhead to cover as much space as possible. Then retighten the screws. Make sure there's enough room for your bulkhead foam and trim it down if not. Then peel off the backing and adhere it to your bulkhead. This will make your kayak safer and more comfortable. Seat adjustment is one of the first things that people blame for bad boat performance. Often they want to move the seat forward to compensate for a lazy posture that has them leaning back too far. In fact, adjusting the seat is one of the last things that you should tinker with and only after you've tested the boat in some white water. If you decide to adjust your seat, loosen but do not remove the four seat screws. There are two on each side of the seat on the outside of the boat. Slide the seat back and forth in the track as desired, then retighten the screws. The back band will give you that last bit of support you need and really connect you to your outfitting. To tighten the back band, pull on the white part of the ratchet buckle. To loosen the back band, push the black tab towards the back of the boat and pull on the webbing. You should never over tighten a back band to compensate for a poorly adjusted bulkhead. If you do decide that you need your back band to be tighter, you can feed extra webbing through the ratchet strap. Undo some of the webbing and then feed it through the ratchet strap. 
then replace. You will now be able to get your back band tighter. The last step is to go around and tighten all of your adjustment screws. A loose outer screw is the most common cause of a leaky boat, and a loose inner screw can cause damage to your outfitting. If you have any questions about how to outfit your kayak, or need help selecting the right kayak or gear, you should call or email Wilderness Voyagers and GearFetch.com or leave a comment on this video. We'd be happy to help you with whatever you need.